gracias, muchas gracias. Um, we are Mariachi Xochitl, and we're here to play a couple of songs for you guys. Um, up next, we're going to play a lovely bolero called Gema. Next, we're going to have a violinist, Elias McIntyre, sing us a very traditional song. Quiero volver, volver, volver. 
tiempo, pero me llegó el momento de perder. Tú tenías mucha razón, le hago caso al corazón y me muevo por volver. We're going to play uh, one of our favorite songs by Javier Solís. It's called The Sombras. Quisiera abrir lentamente mis venas, mi sangre toda verde. Poderte demostrar que más no puedo amar y entonces morir después. Y sin embargo, tus ojos azules, azul que tiene el cielo y el mar, viven cerrados para mí sin ver que estoy aquí. Entre lágrimas viviendo El pasaje más horrendo De este drama sin final Sombras nada más Entre tu vida y mi vida Sombras nada más Entre tu amor y mi amor Qué breve fue Tu presencia en mi hastío Qué tibias fueron Tus manos y tu voz como luciérnaga llegó tu luz y disipó la sombra de mi rincón y me quedé como un duende temblando sin el azul de tus ojos de mar que se han cerrado para mí sin ver que estoy aquí mis manos sombras nada más en el temblor de mi voz pude ser feliz y estoy en vida muriendo entre lágrimas viviendo el pasaje más horrendo de este drama sin final sombras nada más entre tu vida y mi vida Ahora vamos a continuar con unos, una canción muy, muy movidita, muy famosa, Caminos de Guanajuato.
con una canción muy bonita, poco triste, pero muy bonita, Paloma Negra. Hi, my name is Disanti Nava. You're watching Music Monday, New Mexico. We have a special guest today. It's Mariachi Sochli. They have uh, found ways to overcome the pandemic and, and get their music heard out in the community. And we're here to talk with them a little bit more about that. So thank Thanks. you for being here. Thanks for having us. And introduce yourselves again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, name, my name is Diego Toquinto. Um, I am the, the leader, director of Mariachi Sochil. And uh, I play the guitar as well. I'm, uh, I go by Mundo Marquez, full name Raimundo Marquez, and I play the vihuela I have here. And um, yeah, we've been, we've been together for a year now, trying to get this going. And right as we started is when the pandemic hit, actually. So it was kind of oh, that's tough. really bad timing. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, my, name, my name is David Valdez. I'm from Española, and I'm the trumpet player. As well as 
the musical director? <laughs> My name is Elias McIntyre. I'm from here in Albuquerque, and I'm the violinist. Okay. And we also have another trumpeteer in your group, right? Sorry. Yes. That is Pete Sepulveda. Yeah. All right. And he's our advisor. He always, you know, keeps us mentor. Uh, our mentor. That's a better word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has all the words of wisdom. He has, yeah, because he's played around town his whole life, over, oh. over sixty years. Yeah, over sixty wow. years he's been playing around Albuquerque. So, nice, he's, nice. He's, yeah, we really appreciate him. Yeah. So with mariachi music, you're uh, embracing both European and indigenous roots, right? So, is that why you got into mariachi music? <laughs> Do you want to take a words about this? <laughs> I actually got into mariachi music for an easy grade in, in, in school when I was in the seventh grade. I figured, oh, I already play the trumpet, I'm going to join mariachi, so I get my easy A. And anyway, there are, my uncle, he was our director, Alfonso Trujillo, of uh, the Española Valley High School. And they would bring us to Albuquerque and to Tucson and Las Cruces for mariachi conferences that they would, they would hold. And there we were taught by a lot of the masters of mariachi, and that's where how I fell in love with the music. And it's kind of ironic that it started out with it, joining it for an easy A, and it became it really became a livelihood for me. Right. Mm. It's in your blood. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually kind of similarly in middle school, my mom signed me up for the class, but I didn't really have too much interest in it. Like. I had seen it around and stuff, but in middle school, my mom just kind of signed me up, and as soon as I was in, I started picking it up and fell in love with it too, and ever since, yeah. Nice. Similarly as well, um, I was kind of forced into the violin. Um, didn't want to, didn't want to play um, at all for like three or four years, uh, just playing classical music in like high school orchestra, and little by little, I kind of found that. Um, there's, there's this rich tradition here in Albuquerque, especially a lot of the songs that we've grown up with here um, are also our mariachi songs. They're just taken with a New Mexican twist. So being able to transfer that over was really something special and being able to play in something that's more public, more um, part of like the community tradition really was um, appealing to me um, in that sense. I feel like everybody here in the mariachi kind of had its own roots in different places, um, mostly in the, in the public school system with all these uh, m music programs that are sort of starting up, especially mariachi programs. Now we have uh, Albuquerque High, which is where, where, Mundo, where Mundo started. Uh, we have Atrisco, Heritage Academy, um, which is where I started. And uh, we have some music programs up in Española as well and you know, throughout New Mexico. I feel like at, at the end of the day, you know, a year ago, we were all playing with different groups. We had all been playing for a while, and, and we were just kind of looking for something a little more stable, a little more steady. Um, and, and really, you know, that's when we found each other. And, and it really it was just it was a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. We all love mariachi music. We, we all love the, the experience, the emotion. You know, it's, it's, it's more than just, you know, uh, the Western scales and, and notes to us. Right. It's all about the, the emotion that you portray, that, that we feel. And uh, I feel like us, you know, we were all friends before, before we got started. And this, this was just, it was the right step for all of us. Pistola 
qué coraje me daba conmigo yo andaba descalzo y a ti te gustaban las botas de charro fui dejando que el tiempo pasara luché contra todo sentí que los años caían en mi espalda A mi boca cerrada No te pude decir que te fueras Ni quise que vieras Que estuve escribiendo mil veces tu nombre Solo sé que te puse en mis brazos Dejé que mi orgullo se hiciera pedazos al fin y era un hombre. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna play a fun traditional song that every mariachi knows. It's called La Negra. finish with a beautiful, beautiful place um, highlighting our trumpet players. So, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
So back to the pandemic, you're, you're, you're getting gigs here and there, right? You're working there. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it, it's definitely slow, you know? Um, I remember before when we played with our other groups, we were, we were, giving, we were gigging significantly. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of work, and uh, when the pandemic hit and throughout the summer, especially this winter, it was really, really slow. Uh, not only for us, but for all the mariachi community, you know, it was, it was really slow. Um, we still have gigs here and there. You know, people still have small birthday parties. Um, I know one thing that has been really popular is uh, drive through celebrations. Right. Where, you know, people sit outside their front yard and, and they have signs, they have pastries, and people drive by and scream happy birthday, play music on the radio, and, and every once in a while, you know, they get, get to, they get to have some live music there as well. Yeah. Um, it's just, it, it's been rough, but you, you have to accommodate. Mm -hmm. The new normal, right? Uh, yeah, we went from playing the weddings and quinceaneras and big events for businesses to more the backyard uh, parties, backyard weddings and birthday parties and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully now that it, it seems like the we're getting a little bit of hold on the on the virus that we'll we'll start working the the old gigs that we used to. I think so. I think we're starting to slowly come around and hopefully we'll see you around a lot more. And uh Sochli, how did you come up with that name? So uh that's 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 a little bit of a story. I know uh um it must have been like September 2018. 18, yeah. September 2018, Mundo and I were, we were jamming at his house and uh, with another good friend of ours, her name is Sandra Martinez, who was uh, out in Texas. And uh, we were kind of like, oh man, we should, we should start a group. We should, right. we should, we should do something. And uh, we were brainstorming for months. For names, yeah. We, we had a really hard time settling down on a name actually, yeah. Um, the word Xochitl is, is uh, Nahuatl for flower. Um, and so we feel like that name portrays well who, who we want to be, who we are. Um, it, it's both a, a balance of the indigenous roots, but also th this word that isn't portrayed with the traditional machismo right. that, comes, that comes with the historic mariachi right. community. Right. You know, back when women weren't even allowed to play. Yeah. Um, now the word Tsochi, the word flower, sort of inspires that, you know, there, there's, there's more, you know, yeah. and, and everybody, everybody's welcome here with us. And, you know, I, that, I feel like that we embody that, you know, or in like the, the color of moño that we wear. And, uh, you know, just, just in, in general, we, we, really, we really enjoy being a uh, modern thinking group. Right. All inclusive. All inclusive. Music is supposed to build bridges. That's it's supposed to bring people together, and 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 it does. And especially for mariachi music, I think there's so much passion yeah. in Spanish music. If it's happy, it's really happy. And when it's sad, you're crying. Yeah. You know. So, and I hear the passion in your music. I can tell that you love what you do. Yeah. Who's, who's Who's your biggest influence? Um, Can you pin it down? Yeah, oh, there's one. a lot, for sure. <laughs> what mariachi, inspires you? Mariachi, there's Mariachi Vargas, Mariachi oh, yeah. Sol de Mexico, yeah. Mariachi Los Camperos, all the big mariachi groups mainly are, are our inspirations. Mm -hmm. and that's where we pick up our style from mm -hmm. and, and we follow who we follow. Mm -hmm. I know for some people, it's with COVID, they've had a hard time. Uh, do we keep playing? Do we not? Was that ever a question for you? Yeah. To yeah. stop music altogether? Yeah. Yeah, it was tricky because, uh, um, you know, uh, especially being that we have our uh, Pizza Pulveda, who's, uh, you know, a bit older, uh, we, were, we were concerned that it, we're high at risk. And uh, just for safety of the community, you know, and like, it, and it wasn't really priority and how essential really is mariachi music, which, which obviously hurts to say, you know, obviously you want to go out and play as much as you want, but we always kind of had that battle of like, 
Sometimes, and, and then what's more confusing too is like sometimes it was totally okay and every, it wasn't a big deal. And then the next week we're like, we're totally at risk. Everything's gonna, you know, it's, it's all dangerous. And uh, so figuring that out was, was really weird. It's been a really weird time. Yeah. It's a hard balance for it's sure. It's a hard balance. It's also put a strain on us because we, when we first started our group, <clears throat> We had more members, we had more violinists. Mm -hmm. And when the pandemic hit, they, they had to go back home to where they're from, to Texas. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then off and on, like, like Mundo was saying, we had we'd play and then we'd take breaks. It, I, I came down with the virus and I was out for a good two and a half weeks. Yeah. Yeah. But luckily, my, my symptoms were very uh, minor. Just had to stay home to contain the spread. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. Well, thank you. So we are Music Monday, or Mariachi Sochli. Hope you're enjoying it. We're going to hear more music from you. Yeah, definitely. And uh, thank you for being with us, Mariachi Sochli. How do we find you before um, we go? So you can, uh, you can always uh, give us a call. Um, I don't know, maybe we can get the number on screen. There it is. Um, you can also reach us at our at our uh, social media. So we have a we have a Facebook page, we have our Instagram page, and um, follow us, uh, like us. Yeah. You want to hold up the card so they can. Yeah. yeah. So that's a card for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be following you for sure. No pressure being the only violin. Not at all. <laughs> 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 it's been a lot of fun, actually. Um, because of the pandemic, we've had to spend a lot of time kind of re reorganizing everything and kind of we've had to pick apart a lot of the arrangements from scratch and figure out how can we make it sound with, you know, different members present, different members not present. And that's um, given us a lot of time to kind of hone in on that. So in some ways it's been, there's a silver lining to it. What's been the biggest challenge for you being the only, what, the, the uh, holes to fill or? Hmm. That's, that's a complicated question. Um, I'd say I've um, had to learn a lot to um, change my arrangements so that they really bring together the whole sound. Like the violin section uh, really kind of is the glue. Um, the, the trumpets will play the leads and they're very articulated and the violins are kind of, the section is there to bring that sound together. And so I'll change a lot of my arrangements actually to fill the chord between the two trumpet players, so it's kind of like, you notice, you might not notice I'm there, but you notice I'm not there. <laughs> right, right, and is it a lot different not having a guitar player? Because I see sometimes guitar player plus be with yeah. on. Uh, we hope to have a full group at some point, but um, uh, we lost half of our violin section in the when the pandemic started um, because uh, half of them lived in Texas. They were here for school, and uh, so as soon as that happened, they had to move back and uh, but hopefully that's what we're we're going for to have a full group a full sending mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we, we definitely miss that guitar sound you know sort of bridges the gap between the guitarron and the viola yeah um some slightly you know middle range 